Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you how to draw white fur in colored pencil. I know this is something that, as especially as a new artist, is really hard to kind of wrap your head around because it's not actually white in most cases. So you want to make sure that you actually have a bunch of different colors in there. And I think it's something that's hard to do if you're not sure what colors to use. So for this, I think it's really important to use a photo editing software to be able to pick out the colors you want to use. So I have a video on how to color match with Photoshop. I'll have a card pop up for that and I really think it's important that you check that out before you watch this video. Using Photoshop to figure out what colors are in a photo um, really helped me out with this drawing because like I said, it, the fur looks like it's white, but it's not actually white. So sometimes it's hard just with the naked eye to figure out what color you should be using. But this really helped me figure out which areas were more bluish gray and which areas were more brown. Making that distinction will really help you make the fur look very realistic. So you want to make sure that you're picking the right colors for the different areas of fur. So this can be applied to white hair as well. If you were drawing a person that has white hair, you could use the same ideas for this. It just obviously would be longer than the short hair and or the short fur in this video. So I used the Faber-Castell polychromos and the Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils in this video, but if you don't have the Caran d'Ache pencils, the Prismacolors will work just as well. The only difference is obviously the name of the color, so again, that's why I think using the photo editing software would really help you out. So I will put all the colors that I used down in the video description if you want to try to replicate the colors that I actually used. Um, but again, if you don't have the same colors, then if you do put your drawing or your reference photo into Photoshop, then you can figure out which colors will match the pencils that you have. For this drawing, this dog has a lot of white fur. And in the original reference photo, it looks very white because the background was dark. So that was another reason for putting it into Photoshop was I took out the background because I wanted, in my drawing, it was gonna have a white background. So I wanted to see what the color actually looked like against a white background. So that really made a big difference because once I did that, I realized that the fur was actually not very white at all. And so that's another thing to be aware of is when you're doing, um, something that has a lighter color, if your reference photo has a dark background, but you're using a white background in your drawing, you want to make sure that you change that on your reference photo because it will make a big difference in how you see the colors. For the, this white fur, I did start with a base lighter color. I used the titanium buff just to put a layer of color down. And then I went in with the warm gray for the areas that were going to be more brown and then I uh, used the cool grays for the areas that were going to be more blue and I actually used a, the darker color first to kind of ha get an idea of the darkest areas and put those in and uh, to see you know how dark those areas really were going to be that way you don't end up making the entire thing too dark and then you can go in with your lighter grays and put in those lighter areas of the fur so you'd be surprised how dark some of the white area really is so i used the cool gray six and the warm gray five i think was the darkest i used for the grays and then after i put in those darker areas with the with the grays then i went with the lighter grays and the titanium buff and i also used in some of the areas that were a little bit more brown i used the brown okra 10% and those were the colors I used those lighter colors to blend and to burnish. The most important thing that you want to be aware of when you're doing white fur is that you can use a lot of the kind of open space to make it look more white. So when you have fur that's white you're still going to have 
some fur that's more in the background and will look darker. So if you have those darker portions in the back, then the the fur that's most forward will look white even if you've drawn it in gray if you have that darker contrast next to it then that piece of fur will look a lot lighter so the biggest thing to make sure that you're getting the look of white fur is the contrast between the lighter sections and the darker sections and that's what's really going to make it look white when someone's looking at the picture just continue layering and layering until the overall look of white fur to make it look realistically like fur um, and like i said as long as you have the contrast in the other parts of your drawing it it will look white even if when you zoom in on that one section it's not completely white That you found this tutorial helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future tutorials bye guys